the Center for Nanophase Material Sciences, the CNMS, is a user facility that's established by the Department of Energy's Office of Science to provide the resources that users need for their work in nanoscience. Interestingly, a lot of the properties that are needed for batteries, for photovoltaics, they all rely on mechanisms that happen at the nanoscale. And our goal is to use these properties to create new materials that can be used to address our energy challenges. There are five DOE nanoscale science research centers across the country. And of course, each one has a slightly different emphasis. All of them have a combination of synthesis, of characterization, fabrication, and theory, but each one benefits from a specific environment. We are close to Ornell computing resources and to the neutron sources, and we tie very closely to the work done with neutrons. And we do this as a user facility, so we make the resources available so that users can come here and perform their work, and we can provide the expertise that they need to create their uh, research. The Nanofabrication Research Laboratory is a 10,000 square foot clean room with what we consider conventional uh, nanofabrication equipment. Uh, this would include lithography methods such as photo and electron lithography. Uh, in addition, we have deposition methods including physical vapor deposition and chemical vapor deposition. The material can also be removed. These techniques are coupled in with some of the novel capabilities have, we have here that really facilitates our nanoscale efforts such as atomic layer deposition, direct right nanofabrication and bottom-up synthesis. And it's these capabilities coupled with the conventional uh, nanofabrication tools that really allow our users to explore novel nanophysics and the assembly of nanoscale materials. At the CNMS, uh, we're developing new techniques in uh, microscopy. And what we do is actually develop new techniques for scanning probe microscopes. So we can scan across the surface with this sharp point like you'd imagine a, a, a record player, and we can measure the shape of the surface, and depending on the vibration of the cantilever, we can get material properties, and we can also get electrical properties as well at the same time, and a host of other important properties. At the CNMS, we have one of the most advanced fleets of uh, scanning probe microscopes, and we also have developed some of the most advanced techniques on these microscopes. And so, when users come to the CNMS, um, they have access to all of these techniques. They have access to the experts who invented these techniques. So we can really help them to characterize um, and understand their materials uh, at a whole new level. I mainly focus on atom probe tomography. And the way it works is you take your material and you make your material into a needle shape. And your needle shaped material is actually the optic of the microscope and you apply a voltage to the needle shaped material and what happens is you pulse the voltage and you try to take one atom at a time off and it accelerates onto the detector and when it hits the detector you know where it came from and what type of element it is and therefore you can use a computer to reconstruct the material to get a three-dimensional representation of every element in your material with one nanometer resolution. So I was allowed to come to the facilities here at Oak Ridge and it's very exciting because we don't have any kind of uh, tools like this atom probe in order to investigate the, uh, the effects of the embrittlement and here at Oak Ridge we're able to actually see where all of the atoms are moving and how various heat treatments are affecting the uh, embrittlement. Well, the main focus of my research at CNMS is try, try to push the frontiers of electron microscopy, and particularly in the electron energy loss spectroscopy. Basically, what I'm trying to do is uh, I'm trying to use the electron probe, the electron microscope, in order to do measurements that had never been done possible before. And in the way that I do that is by manipulating uh, something that is called the phase of the electron in order to be able to have um, uh, get signals from the electron microscope uh, with atomic resolution that were not possible before as a magnet magnetism. The idea is that when we try to, for instance, push the frontiers of electron spectroscopy or electron energy loss spectroscopy in the electron microscope, it is not just something that it will be uh, for the community within Oak Ridge, but it will be able to be able to, the users that come here will be able to do measurements that had never been done possible before and they will be able to do experiments that they were not thought 
that were possible before. There are just too many combinations of materials, compositions, structures to try them all experimentally. Fortunately, computational approaches have gotten to a point where it will become possible to predict the properties of material before it has been synthesized. The main goal of my research is to um, make uh, realistic simulations of uh, condensed matter materials and for this purpose I'm mainly using something uh, which is called uh, density functional theory. That's a very well-known and powerful theory. That means that uh, me and also my colleagues here at the CNMS can easily uh, you know, give theoretical support uh, to experimental users here. Uh, there is a, a great amount of experience uh, with the computational uh, resources of the Oak Ridge uh, Leadership Facility and uh, that offers another great opportunity for users uh, to you know, benefit from this expertise and to implement uh, high performance computing in their research. We are very comprehensive. We offer things from the simplest equipment to the most complex instrument. And they're all available and they can be used in combination. And it's one single proposal that gets people in here to use all of those capabilities. Most users, once they come here, are surprised by just how much can be done here. And I would just encourage people to come and check us out and explore what is actually possible at CNMS.